Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I've got a podcast editing tutorial for you that should set you up for the basics of producing a regular podcast episode. Okay, here we are in my favorite audio editor, Adobe Audition CC 2018. Uh, by the way, this video is pre-recorded. I am pleased to say that as of next week, so from Monday, I am back and live with Music Radio Creative Live, uh, fresh from San Diego in California at Social Media Marketing World. If you missed my session that I did there, then head over to mrc.fm slash smm. W, where you can grab the virtual ticket to Social Media Marketing World and catch up with my talk and many other fantastic uh, online marketers, social media marketers, YouTubers, bloggers, and podcasters. That's mrc.fm slash SMMW. Uh, now, here in Audition, I have got uh, podcast intro music loaded. Uh, it's also got a nice sound effect at the end. It sounds like that. Uh, I might do something with that in a second. So the first thing when editing a podcast on a regular basis, do yourself a favor and set yourself up a template. Uh, now, I do happen to have my own template uh, here, which if I drop down templates, you'll see pro podcast presets. These are available for you to buy, by the way, at mrc.fm slash PPP if you want to use the exact template I use. And here it is with a podcast host track, talk over music, intro, outro, podcast co-host, Skype guest, podcast guest, and sound effects channel. What more do you need? Uh, very easy to use, intuitive, with all the effects that you're going to need. Um, but say you're setting this up from scratch yourself, I'll show you how to do that. So closing this down, I'm going to start a brand new multi-track session and make sure that no template is selected. None. Sample rate 44 100 hertz, bit depth 32 bits, and it'll be stereo, of course. Right, now I can name this uh, podcast host, track one. You just do this by clicking in and renaming the tracks. Uh, intro music, let's say. And we could make this outro music to keep it nice and simple uh, for this example. And maybe I don't want these tracks, so I can either right click, track, uh, delete selected track, or I can use option, command, and delete. That will be uh, alt, control, delete on a PC. So we keep it nice and simple. Three tracks there to work with. I can even use my magic mouse to zoom here and make these tracks a little bit bigger. Now I can put my intro music over here and I can use that as the intro. Now if I know every week I start my podcast intro off with this rather funky music, then I might want to put in a marker as well. This is the, the second tip in this podcast uh, editing tutorial. You want to place markers so you can see clearly uh, in your template where things are. So in order to do that, I can uh, just put my uh, lovely marker there and hit the M key, marker one. And then I'm going to rename the marker and I'm going to call it podcast intro. And just so I can make it the length of this intro, I'm going to increase the duration a bit. That gives me a marker that I can now drag out to around here. Perfect. Now I can see in my multi-track session, that's the podcast intro. Say I want to use the end bit of this uh, as the ending to my podcast. I can move this, uh, say way out. Say maybe it's a, let's say it's a seven minute podcast. So I'll pop that there. And maybe I'll mix it with a sound effect as well in my library. Uh, so go into imaging sound effects and pull in something that will work really nicely. Let's grab a nano effect. Something like that. And this is going to be my outro. Maybe just tighten that up a bit. Perfect. And then I'm placing a marker here by hitting the M key. And then again, I can rename it to podcast outro and increase the duration so that I can just stretch that to be as long or as short as I'd like it to be. There we go. That tells me that's the podcast intro there, podcast outro over there. And I have pretty much seven minutes to do this podcast in. So then on the podcast host channel, I can start recording and I can say... <laughs> Hello and welcome to the podcast. I am Mike Russell. And there you go. There is my uh, podcast host track in there. So that's the basic start of how I would start to set up a template. Uh, I might perhaps record a sponsored message that goes out every week. This is a sponsored message. Oh, arm to record again. 
This is a sponsored message, especially for musicradiocreative.com. I read this sponsored message out every week on the podcast, so why not have it in my podcast template? There we go. Now we've got the audio that we need all there. We use this audio every week. It's just the content in this bit that changes. So now I can make sure uh, that I've got this all saved as a podcast template. So to do that, you export and click session as template. And we'll call this Mike's podcast like that. Click OK. And now you'll find as if by magic every time if I close this all down, no, save nothing at all. Now I go into File, New, Multitrack Session. In the template window is Mike's podcast. Click OK to that. Boom! Every time I want to make a podcast, that loads up for me. And the best news is if I close this down now, it's my default template. New, Multitrack Session, Mike's podcast pre-selected. I am ready to start creating and stop worrying about anything. And anything will load here. Markers, bits of audio, also effects that you set in the effects rack. If you have compression or EQ, it reloads every time. So it really is a really fantastic thing to set up as a podcast editor. Uh, brilliant thing to do. And if you find that uh, one, two, three tracks are not enough, a quick way to add in new tracks is hit Option A or Alt A on a PC. Boom, 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 boom. Multiple multicolored tracks there for you to play with. You can have as many of these as you want. Look at that, all going down. But Alt or Option A, depending whether your Mac or PC, is a really good shortcut. I hope you've enjoyed these uh, podcast tips. I'll have some reflections on my Social Media Marketing World 2018 uh, presentation on the live stream starting up again next week. So make sure you're subscribed at youtube.com slash music radio creative.